this is Dave Strong, and we're here with Brad Garfield, a local real estate investor, as he embarks on a wild house flipping adventure. Now, Brad, it must be hard buying and selling houses in Utah's hot housing market. Yes, it's not easy, that's for sure. The market's crazy. It's crikey crazy. What's with the Australian accent? Aren't you from Utah? Uh, never mind that. <laughs> I can't even find a house myself in this insane market. Well, I'll sell you this one. Come check it out. Oh, that's a real flipper. Let's show the viewers. Follow me. All right, I can't wait to find out the John Dory on this house. Oh, smells like a dead buffalo. Do they all smell like this? Only the good ones. Oh, come on in. Oh, this is a good one. I'd hate to see a bad one. Is that blood? Could be. I think it went to a haunted house here once. That checks out. Right? Let me give you the grand tour. You sure you want to buy this house, Brent? The bones are great. You think so? Because I think this house needs a doctor. Because these bones are broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boss. Who's the boss? My wife. <sighs> Makes sense. Hey, Suze, come check out this great house. Oh, wow. It smells like dog pee. It's not that bad. Come on in. No, absolutely not. I am not going in this house. It looks like it's about ready to fall down. You better not buy this house. Oh, come on. I could fix it. I doubt it. I've got to go. Don't even think about it. I already bought it. Well, blokes and shalers, it looks like this house flipper has trouble brewing. We have just found out that he has bought this garbage house without his wife's consent. Hey, Brad, will you be sleeping here tonight? No, why? She, she does this every time. Every time? So you've bought houses without her knowledge before? You're crikey crazy. What's wrong with him? on hold with them as we speak. It's extremely important, Alice. Do not blow this opportunity for me. I know, I know. You've told me. I'm on it. No, oh, and there's some guy here that's interested in the home inspection job. Fine. Give me a minute. We're busy in here. My boss will be with you in a minute. All right. He wants to be on Lego Masters. I'm on hold with him as we speak. <laughs> Can you believe that? A man at his age? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty immature. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> and who are you? Mary. I'm waiting for Herm. He's taking me to the park for a picnic. Uh-huh. Your lunch date's here? Ladies, man. How he get his hair like that? I mean, the man got a comb over. Why she walk out the door with him? You see these waves right here? Mm-hmm. I'm an awesome sword master and will defend your honor with my life. That's good. Real good. But somebody's here about a job. So I'm issuing a stop work order and need to halt all construction. No. We're just getting started. He's right. The show must go on. Hey, 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 hey. Now clean it up. Or no more candy for either one of you. Help me. All right, send him in. You know, if we, and by we, I mean me, get on Lego Masters, you two are going to ride my coattails. What? <laughs> you are going to be my Frodo, and you, my Samwise. Can I be Gimli, actually? He's ready for you now. Just go uh, down the hall here and turn right. Roger that. 
somebody supposed to water this plant? Not my job. How long is this gonna take, Bunk? I, I don't know. <sighs> what about preparing for Lego Masters? Six day on the Lego Lake. I was supposed to be Frodo. Don't die. You, couch, you stay, be my wing nut. Yeah, I'm Clyde Grimble B. Good for you. What can I help you with? Well, I'm here for the job interview. You know the building inspector job. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, come on in. We're, we're busy. There's my diploma. It says you completed a four-hour online course. Well, yes, I was in the top 98% of my graduating class. <laughs> class of Tuesday, your parents must be very proud. Well, yes, they are. See, I printed a PDF of it and emailed it to my entire extended family. My mom. <laughs> she framed it and put it by a bed. Yeah. Uh, so you, do you have any experience? I mean, what makes you think you're qualified for the job? Well, I know I'm qualified for the job, because you see, my dad's third cousin shot himself in the foot with a nail gun. Without further incident, he worked the rest of the day with a nail sticking out his boot. Later that night, he lost his big toe. He's one of the bravest men I know. And I hope to follow in his footsteps and keep all my toes, especially the big ones. Alice, do I have any more job applicants today? Uh, you don't have any more today, or tomorrow, or the next day. Perfect. Can I help you? Yes, I am here to inspect the house. I am a licensed building inspector, the best in the business. Here's a freeze magnet with my credentials. I didn't call for an inspection. It's OK. I'll begin my inspection now. Hold on. I'm not ready for an inspection. Sir, if you can just step back, I will begin. Excuse me. It's go time. Is this the house you're working on? Yeah. I see numerous violations. I just bought it. No excuses. Let's continue with the investigation. I mean, inspection. OK. These don't look like high definition studs. No, they're pretty standard. Huh. I see you use the Mercosian framing method. Good choice. The, the what method? Mercosian method. It was used by the Aztecs to build the Egyptian pyramids. No, I used wood. The pyramids were built with stone. Well, I just put a piece of blue tape on it. Common mistake rookies make. I see you haven't installed that stuff on the wall. You mean the sheetrock? Yes, I know what it's called. Generally, I like to put the electrical in before I put the sheetrock up. Well, let me put a piece of tape on it, and we can circle back. What are these holes? Holes? Uh-huh. I call them windows. Oh. Will you be using glass windows? I like to use clear glass so you can see through them. I see another violation. <laughs> we done here. Absolutely not. I want to see the kitchen. Follow me.
Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Do you plan on having a fridge? Yes, most people like to keep their food cold. I suggest buying an electric fridge. Really? Well, maybe I'll buy a Gerbil 3300. Maybe even get it in the HD version. It's gerbil powered, great for the environment, and made by the Flintstone Company. Oh, but that's, that is a good choice. Oh, it is. <laughs> well, you failed today's inspection. You can contact my office for any more citations I think of. I'll take that. Insane. Hello. Uh, hello, is this Brad? Yes. I'm standing in front of a house, and it has your sign in front of it. So are you selling the house? Yes, it's for sale. Uh, I'm standing right in front of a tree, a big tree. Is that a maple tree? Uh, th th this is Brad, right? Yes, this is Brad. Uh, I'm not sure which tree you're talking about. I'm daddy for teddy, but better, better, for better, for better. Whee! Whee! Hello? Hello, what? Uh, oh, I would like to see this house. I'm approved and ready to buy. When can you be here? Uh, are you at the Mapleton house? I think so. I'm at the house with the maple tree. Oh, I love maple syrup. So good. Mm. Okay, I, I'm... I could be there in about an hour. Uh, I'm in Benjamin right now, and it'll take me a little while to get there. I'm uh -huh. in my work clothes, but happy to show it to you if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll just sit right here by the big tree. What a good tree you are. What? Hello? Are you the one interested in the house? You are so big and strong and beautiful. Well, I'll bring the pancakes. Fantismo. I love you. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm Margaret. This maple tree is my friend. That's a quakey. I drive that car over there. We've been friends for about 10 years now. She's a good car. But not always. Um, yesterday, she ran out of the uh, fluid stuff that hits yeah. the windshield, you know, to clean when I, yeah. I press the thingy on the thing, and I am not happy. It looks like a nice car. Right now, she is on my naughty list. This morning, it started blinking at me. It was so rude, blinking, red flashing lights. You know, the one shaped like a, a gas thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do with that. I've seen that before. You have? Yeah, yeah. Your car does it, too. Yeah, sometimes. Do you want to see the house? I can show oh, you the yes. house. Okay. Well, I can't wait to. Well, follow me. You be good. Uh, you're Brad, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Brad. Okay. Come on in. Wow, look at all of this. You like? So much space and the light. You know, I would like to grow my own tomatoes someday. That's a dream, isn't it? Yep. Wow this. I see you. <laughs> uh, hi. As you can see, we put a lot of wood trim in this house. I, th I think it adds a lot of character. Shh, shh, shh. I'm sorry. He killed you. I will treat you better. I love you. Do you want to see the kitchen? Yes, I've already eaten. Thank you. But I will have a snack, if that's what you mean. Well, check this out. It's humongous. You like? It's practically as big as my whole apartment. This would be a big step up. Well, we put in these nice soft closed drawers. Watch this. Oh. And look at this. Fancy. This is grade three granite. You are a good rock. Yes, you are. You're so cold and aren't you a good boy? Who's a good boy? Mm. Do you want to go check out the master suite? <laughs> um, is it a sweet suite? 
It's pretty sweet. Yes. Well, this is it. This is what? The master suite. Oh, but it's empty. You want to go check out the master tub? Oh. <laughs> this is it. Ooh. Where are you going? Oh, you are so nice. I can't wait to meet you. Is your water wet? <laughs> You're not going to run out of liquid, are you? I don't like it when that happens. You know, you don't want to make Margaret's naughty list. Oh. Oh, that is right. Wow, what a great garage. You know, I might even let my car park in here if she stops misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, here's my card. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Thanks. I think I'll keep looking because I don't like pancakes and I hate maple syrup. Yes, I'm still on hold. Oh, good morning, Brad. Hi, Alice. Is he in there? Uh, yes, but I think he's busy. Hey, Brad. Yeah. You're the guy who flips houses, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, I saw you on the news the other night, man. I've been wanting to meet you. Oh, I love what you do, and I want to start flipping houses, too. Can I give you a hug? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I flipped a few houses. I have a house in Benjamin I'm working on. Oh, that is so awesome. I binge watched like eight episodes of Easy Money Flipper the other night, and I am so ready to go buy a 42-unit apartment complex just off of Springfield Avenue. Now, it needs a little bit of work, but I think it'll be a quick flip. Huh, have you ever flipped a house before? Uh, no, but I mean, I should be able to do it in like a couple of days, you know, maybe make a few hundred Gs, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Now, the roof's caving in. But on the show I watched the other night, dude, they fixed it in like a couple of minutes. They made it look so easy. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Hey, when should I start? And how long does it take me to pocket some coin, man? I'm ready to make some moolah. Well, that sounds great. Maybe I'll stop by when I have time. What time? Today? Right now? Look, I think we should exchange numbers. I'll send you a friend request. When can you accept it? I'll log in right now and wait for you. Uh, what did you say your name was again? It's Andy. Andy Schuster. Oh, man, this is so sick. Thanks. Hey, should I go get a hammer? Oh, I need a hammer. Should I get a big one or a small one? What size tape measure should I get? Should I get a metric one? Oh, wait, you know what? I think I need to get a new truck. Oh, yeah, man, I want a big truck. With chrome wheels, maybe? Sitting out some 22s. Oh, and it's going to have a bumping system, dude. And lights. Lots of lights. Ugh. Flipping houses is going to be so easy. Yeah, well, good luck with that, Andy. That means the world to me, man. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, and I'm glad I'm going into business with you. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Hermie, my man. Dude, look. Is that who I think it is? The one and only Brad Garfield in the flesh. Whoa, he's a legend. <laughs> you could say that again. Whoa, he's a legend. <laughs> OK, well, I'll see you later, Hermie. Catch you later, later, Andy. Evil tyrants. Hey, we all our food. Oh, whoa, oh, hey, you. What's up, it's Brad? How you doing? Uh, we, we're working on a new uh, uh, government building uh, mock-up. Uh, how you been? What can I help you with? I had your new inspector stop by the other day. Where'd you find this one? Selling blue tape at the Home Depot store? Blue tape? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, he came in the house and he stuck blue tape everywhere. Must have used a whole roll. Yeah, I heard. Look, I only have five years left before I can retire, okay? Nobody else applied. I had to hire the guy. It's been a little thin around here since Bob quit. We've been working on this 8,000 piece Princess Delphina and the barbershop castle for the past three days. This is not good. This is bad. Well, you hired a real winner. Well, what would you have me do, Brad? Well, I don't know, maybe train him a little bit? Maybe teach him how to inspect the house without using blue tape and a red laser? We're going to have to start all over. Again? You want to file a complaint? I, no. I'll get you the paperwork right no. here. Just maybe talk to him, tell him to chill. This is going to take hours, days. I'll talk to him about the blue tape. OK. We're a little busy. We're working here. Okay? Yeah, I'll let you guys get back to your Lego building or your office stuff. I, I'm not sure what you've got going on here. It's weird, though. Shut the door, Brad. Thank you. Didn't I tell you about locking the door? Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> oh, 
fucking dead! <laughs> you better get out the way! Oh, let's go! Oh, oh. <laughs> Why are you here? I didn't call for an inspection. I beg to differ. My supervisor called today and told me you needed an inspection pronto. I doubt it. Have you ever run a skid strip before? That's not a toy. Could have fooled me. I had one when I was a kid. Besides that, I'm certified and licensed in running all heavy equipment. Every spring, I use a bulldozer 110 to till my grandma's garden. I don't even call blue stakes before I dig. Uh, I think it's great to call blue stakes anytime you dig. You don't want to hit a gas line or something, right? Blue stakes is for amateurs. I'm a professional driver. Let's get started with today's inspection. I didn't call for an inspection, though. Move aside. Do we really have to do this again? Did your mama feed you bacon, egg, sausage, and grits every morning when you were a kid? Yeah. Then let's get on with it. Ah! I see you ended up replacing the studs with high-definition studs. No, they're the same standard-definition studs. I would prefer you use HD studs. I let it slide this time, but no. I am watching you. Uh, is there a bathroom here? There's a Johnny potty you just out front. Good. I ate sushi last night at the Samurai Sumo, and well, my mama knows what it does to me. Do you like sushi? Never mind, I don't care. The show must go on. Where's the blue tape I left? I prefer to recycle. I'm a member of the Recycling Star Alliance, and I'm over Sector 7. I enforce Article 4.1 of the Disciplinary Code to all invaders foreign and off-planet. I like Star Trek. Well, I love Star Trek. I have a mint condition Princess Leia still in the box. I collect them. I'm saving for her boyfriend, Han Solo, and his ship, the Enterprise. Who's your favorite action figure? Mm -hmm. Oh. Never mind, I don't care. Oh, I'm glad you fixed these holes on the wall. At least you're doing something right. They're not fixed, I just boarded them up. I've ordered the windows, but they haven't arrived yet. Excuses. And where's my tape? I need more tape. I can't inspect without my blue tape. It's right there on your hip. Don't tell me how to do my job. Ugh. You sure you're okay? Moving on. While you are sleeping, will you be closing these so-called windows at night? I don't know. I, I don't sleep here. Uh, you're welcome to go use the Johnny Potty. It's right there. Negatory. I was hired to do a job, and I will finish. Now step back and let me do my job. Now, what are you using so animals don't get into the house? Mountain lions are known to hibernate in vacant houses. I suggest you put up a kill zone electric fence around the property. Mountain lions don't hibernate, and I've never heard of a kill zone fence. Where do you buy them? They are a special electrified fence. I'm a certified installer. They use a 10,000 watt power pack charge. They only sell them in Africa. They are banned here. Some guy died while installing one. Amateur. They keep our Bigfoots, bears, and the occasional saber tooth tiger. Our country's so far behind when it comes to electrified fences. If I didn't have a job to do, I'd consider moving to Botswana. Well, last I checked, saber tooth tigers were extinct. There have been occasional sightings of saber tooth tigers in remote places like Howell, Utah. And Bigfoots have been known to prefer blind women. My findings show there's a 0.2% chance of being kidnapped by a Bigfoot if you sleep with your windows open. You believe in Bigfoot? Bigfoot's are real. I collect hair samples from Bigfoot habitat on the weekends. I've submitted my studies to be tested. We'll be doing a research paper on my findings. I have thought about getting my online DNA certification so I can do it from home. It's a three-hour course or something I'm looking into. 
Interesting. My wife's a blonde. Did I ask about your wife? Well, should I sleep with them closed or open? I think you should sleep with them closed. You know, I was a wildlife photographer for 20 years. In fact, I've had two friends killed and eaten by bears. Another good friend of mine who films for National Geographic actually saw a Bigfoot in Kluwani National Park. I don't care! Bigfoots beats bears. Let us continue. To the best of your knowledge, will you be using any recyclable products on the house? What kind of recyclable products are you talking about? Soda bottles, cereal boxes, plastic straws, etc. No, I've never used cereal boxes to build houses. African tribes use pop cans to frame their houses. It's very cost efficient and environmentally friendly. You wouldn't know unless you know. Last I checked, we live in Utah. And this is getting ridiculous. Something to consider. I'll make a note that you're thinking about it. But today's inspection is done. I will let my office know the results. You can contact him in six weeks. Your castle is almost complete. Oh. Hold your horses. What's up, Brad? You got to do something about this guy. What guy? Who do you think? Your so-called house inspector. He knows absolutely nothing. He's driving me nuts. I, I can't get anything done around here. Hey, not my problem. Nothing I can do. The guy's certified. Certified in what? A annoying people? <laughs> Bye, Brad. Now. Where were we? Uh-huh. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Woo! Landing. Woo! Let's go, baby. 